Solomon joins us now from FDR Park, where more demonstrators have gathered again tonight. Rahel, good evening. Good evening, Jessica and Yuki. Well, you may remember yesterday during our 11 o'clock live shot, it was a much different scene out here. Of course, we were dealing with temperatures uh, feeling like the triple digits. We were dealing with heavy rain. Today, however, much more bearable temperatures, and that may have been the reason that we saw larger crowds both right now and much earlier on Broad Street. Philadelphia police had to detain several protesters Tuesday evening after some were seen trying to hop a fence into a secure area near the Wells Fargo Center. Also on day the DNC, hundreds marched on Broad Street, beginning in North Philly and ending at City Hall. The protesters came from all over the country, but their message was singular. Organizers tell me they were protesting the death of black men at the hands of law enforcement and the use of excessive force. We just have a social and injustice issue going on that's much deeper than much pe most people realize. Black Lives Matter organizer Erica Mines told Eyewitness News that while all were welcome to protest alongside the group, this struggle is one that solely affects African Americans. We as black people are the most disenfranchised and marginalized people in this country. And if they are to get any form of revolution, it will directly come from the freedom and the liberation of our people. I think that in solidarity, we can we can win. And one of the chants that I did hear was, the people united will never be defeated. And lending her voice and support to the message at one point was actress Ashley Judd. I was on my way to the criminal justice reform panel at Truth to Power and Rock the Vote. And this is the most perfect and poetic diversion. We just told you about those people being detained, but just within the last minute or two, police sources telling me that three people were actually taken into custody and the Secret Service will be charging them for trying to get over a fence into a secure area. So if that is in fact true, this would be the first arrest of the Democratic National Convention. Reporting live at FDR Park, Rahel Solomon, CBS3 Eyewitness News.